Hola beauties! Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Morana Gal, and today I'm so excited. So, um, this is technically the second thing I'm trying for Black Radiance, but I just tried their foundation, or Color Me Perfect liquid makeup, but it's a foundation. Um, I'll have that video right here if you guys want to see how this foundation turns out. But in this video, I'm trying out their new True Complexion Contour Palette. So I got the medium to dark palette. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, as soon as I opened it, because in the store, like you know when you go to a drugstore, you can't open any of the products and you don't know what it actually looks like. This, you can actually open it in store. It has a little look inside thing here. <laughs> it has a little look inside thing here. So when you're in the store, you can open it like this. There is no like other packaging um, you know what I'm saying. There is no other packaging like prohibiting you from opening it up. In fact, like, it was like pushing you to open it up. And when I opened it up, I was like, oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys can see this shade properly, but that gold highlighter sold me. I was like, $7.99? Don't mind if I do. So yeah, so I was really, oh, oh, it looks like a bar of gold. It's just stunning and that's what this highlight looks like i do have a lot of gold highlights but i don't have a gold highlight that looks like this at all hands down and then i also loved how the contour shade right here was such oh let me take the little protective how do i take this off the little oh oh go far uh oh uh oh okay <laughs> ah, i was about to ruin it so i love how um Hmm, I wonder what that is. Anyways, I love how this contour shade is so rich and chocolatey. I think it's gorgeous. And I like that they threw in like a little sculpting shade. So I'm really excited. I think the colors are gorgeous. The only thing, even though I personally love this contour shade, I think it's such a rich cocoa color. For it to be a... Because Black Radiance, when I went on their website, um, basically the stuff they make is formulated for black people. Well, not black people, but people of color in general. And I just feel like there are some black people who are darker than this contour shade. And then this is the darkest contour um, palette. It's just medium to dark. They should have had like a, a deep contour palette or something as well. I feel like the highlight shade would work on a lot of people of color with like deeper skin. But this contour shade, although I think it's gorgeous and I know it's going to work on me. I know people who are darker than this contour shade, so how are they going to contour with this shade, you know? But nonetheless, I do think it is gorgeous. I'm not mad that there's no mirror because, girl, it was $7.99. $7.99. It was $7.99, okay? So I'm not mad that there was no mirror. I actually, in fact, I like that they have a little, almost like a how-to guide tips and, trick, uh, tips and tricks thing up here. I think that is really interesting. Um, it would really help someone out if they didn't know what they were doing. I'm just gonna hop right into it. You guys, I am, like, I literally can't wait to swatch this. Like, as soon as I bought it, I was like, oh, I got to swatch. I got to swatch. And another thing I wanted to add, when I was on the Black Radiance website, and I was just, like, reading the claims on this stuff, on this, uh, contra palette, it said, it won't make you look ashy, and it won't clog your pores. So, I hope it don't make us look ashy. And then also, this guy is cruelty free because you know I love the bunnies. I love the animales. So I was really happy to find out about that. That's really cool. Black Radiance, shout out to y'all. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to use the brushes I normally use when I do this type of thing. Okay, I'm just going to swatch the highlight. Like, I can't wait. Okay, so we're going to swatch. Ooh, it feels really powdery. I don't know why, but I thought it was going to feel creamy. Okay, so I'm just going to... Right here. Okay, I don't want to say that this is a letdown, but um, I was expecting more. <laughs> I was expecting more shine, more. Wow, this. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's actually pretty rough. Like, I don't know if you guys can, like, listen. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's really rough. I feel like I'm tugging on cardboard. Eh. It's pretty, don't get me wrong. I was just expecting more. 
But who knows, maybe it'll translate better on my cheekbones and the other places that I highlight. I'm gonna go ahead and contour first and then I'll go into the sculpting. So I'm just gonna dip my brush in. Okay. There's just like the itty bittiest tiny amount of fallout. Not bad at all. So I'm just gonna... <laughs> oh! Oh no! <laughs> Okay, so it's really pigmented. That's good though. I really like that it's not pigmented. Let me just blend that away before it becomes. Whew, I love when stuff is pigmented. That was really easy to blend away. Okay, so I'm just gonna tap off even more and like kind of swirl it on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna put it on my face. Wow. Okay, I like it. I like that it doesn't pull too red or anything. It's very cool toned. I like that. adding such a great shadow because it's not like it's just a good shade to contour with they did a good job with this black radiance I commend you I love how stiff the sculpt and contour powders are Very small amount of the contour shade. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the highlighter. So I swatched it on the back of my hand, and I, you all saw my reaction. I was not like living for it the thought the way the thought the way I thought I was going to live for it but maybe it'll apply differently okay so I'm just gonna tap tap okay let's see I'm like it's so underwhelming now because I'm just like I already know how it's watched I'm just like okay Make me eat my words, Black Radiance. I hear you, boo. Because I am eating my words. I just added some to the brow bone and the inner corner. So what are my final thoughts on this guy? Um, okay, let me just go back to the packaging. I think this packaging is gorgeous, gorgeous. They did a great job with this. And I love that they made it so accessible. Like when you're in the store, you could open it up. Phenomenal, phenomenal. I love that it has a magnetic closure. I think that's super cool. A lot of things from the drugstore do not have magnetic closures. And I like that this one tried to do a little high-end something something. That's cute. So the colors, gorgeous. I do think they do need a deeper palette. Because I definitely have friends deeper than this. Um, but nonetheless, I really like the colors. Like, I don't want you guys to think like, oh, I don't like it. I do like it. I'm just saying. Black Radiance. You need a deeper dark of shade, honey. So, in the beginning, I was very underwhelmed by the way that the highlight swatched. Because looking at it in the pan, it just looked like a gold bar. 
and it just oh it was so appealing like and then when I swatched it it just felt so rough but putting it on the skin was a completely different story completely different tale I do think it's more of a subtle highlight a little bit more natural looking definitely more wearable this is a kind of palette that I would use day to day really day to day because I have contour shades I love but it is nice just having it in like a, a small palette like this where you have your contour shade you have the one for your note well for me this is what I use for my nose and then you have the highlighter right there I think it's convenient in that way I love palettes like this so I will definitely be using this day to day I really do love it I love it and I didn't think in the middle of using it I liked it didn't love it but now I love it I like the way that it like even though the highlighter feels rough to like touch like to the touch on my skin I feel like you it's not it's not enhancing my texture it's not doing anything crazy it even got like a little bit towards my pores and it's not like screaming her pores are huge or anything and also as you guys can probably see you already know my eyebrows are due for a nice little wax but you know your girl broke so I have to wait to get a wax on my brows I may honestly I may just end up like plucking them myself or whatever um but what's crazy is sometimes when I highlight my um brow bone when you know I have like hairs there um unwanted hairs there it just looks gross but for some reason I'm really digging the way this highlight is on top of the hairs there I'm digging it for whatever reason final I totally recommend it. <laughs> it's my final thought on the product. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I see you guys. I see you guys. Thank you so much for joining. Um, yeah. Oh, and like this video if you like this video. I'm a small YouTuber. It helps me out a lot when you guys give me your thumbs. So please give me your thumbs. And yeah. Thank you guys for watching as always. And besitos. Bye.